kind of mother do you think you are? I used to be a tiger mom. So for all you type A ladies out there, what happens is as we excel in our job, we bring the same standards of excellence at home and expect our kids to excel in their studies. Except that the ugly truth is, I would shout at them, I would cane them. And my impatience and my standards were so unrealistic that one day I just looked at myself in the mirror and told myself, all this madness has to stop. And that was the day that I decided my kids are not going to be defined by their grades. I remember after that, there was a series of conversations that we had. One dinner conversation, my daughter looked at me and said, Mom, you know we cheat, right? And before I could even respond, she continued to share with her sister and the both of them went to and fro on best practices of cheating right in front of me. I deliberated. A good mom should be telling them cheating is alright and I should tell them why not to cheat. But as I thought about why they cheated, I actually got that I am to be responsible. I pushed them so hard to give me the grades that they know will make me happy and it's no wonder they cheat. I interrupted their conversation to tell them, you all cannot make it. Mummy is the best cheater in school when I was young. And they all stared at me, why I? And they were like, Mummy, you cheat? And I was like, of course I did. And I proceeded to tell them my story. And as I proceeded to just share with them authentically how I copied my Chinese or attempted to with no avail when I was younger, they were all flabbergasted. We ended that night with laughter. Um, but what's even more critical is I decided I'm not going to be a tiger mom anymore. I am going to be an eagle mom. And why eagle? It's because the eagle has four characteristics that I choose to have for my children. Do you know that of all the animals, the eagle is actually known for its vision? So instead of being myopic and telling the kids, I want you to get good grades for a good school, for a good future, as I see far, I realize that in this 21st century digital age, the skill sets that be relevant for the kids, critical thinking, independent problem solving, personal skills are going to be higher successful child. So the vision to find out what interests them is what I'm more keen about. So having the farsightedness. The second thing about the eagle is the eagle is the most nurturing animal. When an eagle teaches their young to fly, they would put the young on the back and as they flap, they would just suddenly swoop away from under the young eaglet and as the eaglet struggle to actually flap their wings, the mom, if the mom sees that the eaglet hasn't gotten that strength yet, will just come and support the eaglet again. Over and over and over, the experience is repeated until the eaglet gains that confidence and that strength and understands how to stand independently. And the third would be the eagle's fearlessness. The golden eagle has been known to attack preys that are even bigger than them. So for example, the goat, so an eagle is not a very large bird, right? And the goat, you know, they will not back off. They will stand and they will literally strategize to throw the goat off the cliff fence and after that, pick up the goat to feed the family. And finally, the fourth, would be the tenacity of an eagle where during a storm where all other birds hide away for shelter the eagle chooses to use the surroundings and to soar above the clouds and that's how i want to bring my children up with independence knowing that i'm always there for them with the vision to not just follow what the mainstream is doing but to set them up for success and finally, with the tenacity to know that they can use their environment and the circumstances to their best advantage when they choose not to string back. What kind of a mom are you? Join me every Thursday with other mums where we have mums confessions, which is an intimate share of parenting tips. I would love to hear your thoughts on how you bring up your kids.